it's me again, and hopefully this is our last video of the Gypsy uh, tutorial. Now all we have is the word Christy. So we're going to go over here to the Advanced tab, right here on the top. Tap on it. Alright, there's a few things that we're going to work on real quick. Um, the first button you see here, just tap on it, and it turns to zero. It brings the numbers down here in the arrows. This is kerning. This is what you use. Oops, let me um, highlight my area that I'm working with. <laughs> it, it's it's called kerning button. Um, interesting name for it. I don't know, but um, what it does is see how the letters are kind of far apart on my name here. Um, if I tap on it and I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna tap on this this uh, these arrows right here. It's gonna bring them farther apart that way. And if you push the down arrows, it'll bring them closer together. I don't know if you're able to see that, but when you're playing with it on your gypsy, you can see what I'm talking about a lot easier. And that's kind of an easier way to We're on weld. the rotate button. We're going to rotate my word, my name. So if you want it to be upside down, or actually let's do, you know, sideways to make it fit on the page a little bit more, you're going to push this up, this double up arrow button here. And it rotates my name, okay? And it... It'll rotate it until, you know, it'll make it nice and straight once you get to a point. So you can use maybe your paper, instead of using it this direction, you want to use your paper this direction. So you know, whatever you want to do. So that kind of, and you can go all the way around. But um, I'm going to go back. Oops. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to bring it back the way it was. Oops. Okay. Move that over. All right. The next button is your uh, slant button. It's called a slant button and that's pretty self-explanatory. You just tap on it and you're highlighted right here and you're gonna slant your letters and you're gonna see them kinda move over in it. I mean it, you could design pretty much anything on this gypsy. It's pretty much whatever you do to it it's your own you know design pretty much even though you get the um, ba base lettering or base design you could pretty much design your own your own picture so um so instead of it slanting being upright up and down straight up and down letters you can make them to the go to the you know how people write they write slanted a little bit you could do it that way or you know the other way or, or just straight up and down whichever one you want i'm gonna slant mine just a tad okay and okay so that's the slant button the next button I'm going to start right here is when you, it's a flip button. You're going to tap on it and it's going to turn this completely from side to side. See, it turned it backwards. This is really good for when you're working with uh, iron on vinyl and you want to cut it off, cut it out backwards because you have to do that in order to put it on the t-shirt right or the, you know, whatever you're working with to iron it on. So I'm going to flip it back. And of course this one, you flip it up and down where it turns it upside down. Okay. And I don't, I don't know a reason in that. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if you want a mirror or something, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip it back. All right, this button right here. I'm gonna move my design up just a little bit. Hang on just a second. And the with the two squares on it, the button with the two little squares on it. Tap on that, and it'll actually copy your design that you have highlighted. It'll copy it as many times. The more but times you push it, the more times it copies it like that. Okay, and then you can move those around. There's one instead of you know going back and to the to the key over key overlay. Then you could uh, and typing it all out. You could just hit copy every time and it'll do that. So real quick, I'm gonna go back. I'm going to undo, undo, undo. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And this takes a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> and I'm going to take care of this one. I think there's probably an easier way to do this, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to go back to my advance button. So we're back to where we were. I'm going to highlight this area here. Okay. Stop. Okay, this button right here is really neat. Um, if you click on that, it's, uh, um, I forgot the name of the button. But if you tap on it, it'll bring you, um, like if I want this eye right here, but I don't want the little dot for the eye. You tap on this button and I think the one that's highlighted in red is what you can hide. 
and it'll hide that that dot that way it will not cut that dot out okay it'll just cut the eye out it won't cut the dot and um, and then you can hit show if you want it to cut out um, I don't know let's see if you hit next it drops it down to the eye and not the dot so you can hide the eye and cut the dot so you just kind of play with that and see what it does it's a pretty neat little thing okay keep it all the same okay get back up there highlight there we go alright so that's what that button is now the next button is uh, first of all what I'm gonna do is if I tap tap on just the R it'll highlight the R in red that's what I'm working with I wanna move it let's see I wanna I wanna move it closer to the K so I'm gonna use my arrows down here and I'm gonna slide it over not too close and then I wanna tap two times real quick and tap on the eye and it's highlighted in red and you're going to slide it over to the R and the reason why I'm doing this I want to get it to where it's just touching now if you don't know if it's just touching you can push this top button and tap where the area is that you want to see and make sure that it's touching it kind of gives you a close up view of what you're working with and then if you tap it again it goes back to the original Okay, so I'm going to tap the S twice, move it over to the I, and get as close as I think it is. Tap on the T and continue on. And the Y. Alrighty. Oops, too far. Okay. And I'm going to kind of look at this whole thing. So I'm going to tap on this silver button and tap the screen at the same time. I'm going to make sure they're all touching. Okay, this T is not touching. So while I'm in here, I'm going to tap twice and I'm going to move it over until I see that it's touching that S. And I'm going to go back and do the Y because once you move the T, you move the Y out of the way too. So everything looks like it's touching. I can even go back and do the R a little bit. So everything looks like it's touching. So that's good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to weld this name together so it'll, all, it'll cut all out in one piece except for the K. But I'm sure there's a way that if you wanted to move, let's see, that's another story. But if you wanted, to, let me go back to basic. Remember the button where you uh, separate it? You want to separate the whole thing. Whatever you want together, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on the K and I move it over and I might move it up a little bit and it could actually let's see I'm going to move it over here and then up and over just a tad up and over just a tad up there we go that's kind of weird looking but uh, I'm going to bring it down if, if there was another letter it would probably look a lot better <laughs> so I'm going to bring it over and I might let it touch the R just a little bit so I'm going to go back to advanced and I'm just about ready to run out of time so highlight this whole thing uh, let me go back hold on just a second I want to bring it all together alright go back to advanced the weld button this is the weld button you're gonna tap on the weld button that puts it all together and if you want to see what it looks like you're gonna push the eye everything that's in gray it means that it's touching the other number and then you take the eye off and hit cut you're going to go to basic, let's see, basic, and then hit the cut button. So, hopefully, that will do it. Um, I try to go through it kind of quickly. <laughs> so, I, I hope that um, it helped a little bit. But uh, everything will be cut together on that particular letter as long as it's welded. You have to make sure that this, this button right here is highlighted. So, but just to see if it's welded, you tap on the eye, and of course you can tap the silver button, tap on the screen, and it brings it closer. And everything in gray is going to be it's going to be touching the uh, next letter, and it'll be welded. It will not cut the each letter separately. It'll cut them all at one in one piece, which is really neat. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of the gypsy. <laughs> But if you have any questions or anything, like I said, please leave a comment and any questions that you might have. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And y'all have a great day. Thank you.